An empty road, empty houses. We're driving into the new stronghold of the virus and to one village at its heart. In Kigbal, a cluster of children on one side of the road. We soon discover why. On the other side, everyone is either dead or dying. She said she's sick. She has the sickness of a turnover. Her head is turning, so she's got a fever, presumably. That's what she yes. said. Do you think it's Ebola? It is. We're having to be very careful where we walk. There were dead bodies all around here that were cleared up just recently. But still, in the middle of this village, we have Ebola victims. And there are three, two or three here, these women and their baby daughter, and another man just down the road. And they're all believed to have the virus. They're just being left here, presumably to die. Next door, Momo Sese is struggling with no protective gear to care for his sick wife, Fatu. Uh, the, husband, the husband is asking the wife that um, if they don't heal you, what will happen to you? And the lady said she's going to die. I'm sorry there's nothing we can do to help you. But I'm sure help will come. Yo? Say he's still pleading. He pleads again for help as Fatu drifts away. What do you what do you so come and tennis? Across the road the children wait. They think this side is safer. But some of them look feverish. So where are their parents? Could you ask the children to raise their hands if they've been orphaned? Because I've been calling, 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 attending meetings of um, um, WFP and WHO, and um, I haven't got any help yet. Nothing at all? Nothing at all. I feel very angry about that, because my people are dying. Mabinti is 14. Yeah, I don't feel fun, because now they're near me. When my father became ill, they took him away, she says. I don't even know if he's dead now. So many have gone. We came to this side to avoid catching the virus. But there is no proper quarantine system here. Local officials have taken a handful of the more feverish children a mile up the road. Alison is six. Are you feeling OK? Daddy, daddy's aching. His head's aching, I'm sorry. And so he returns to the others. If some of them don't have Ebola yet, they're now living beside people who definitely do. Andrew Harding, BBC News, Sierra Leone.